and you talk about both of Ryan's kicks and just seeing a kid hit a 59-yarder like that and just own the moment, knowing what he's been through in the past. Yeah, you know, I was obviously really proud for Ryan, and um, you know, we we've we got a lot of confidence in him. You know, the the first kick, um, we knew that was was obviously well within his range. Um, you know, the the second kick, we knew we were right on right on the edge of it. Uh, we had a few opportunities in fall camp to back him up and see where he was really comfortable. And there was a little bit of a, a breeze going in that direction in the stadium. And, um, you know, obviously, I think, you know, on the on the third down setup play, we were looking for, for a little bit of yards to, to get a little bit closer for him. But um, I did feel like from that distance, uh, he was going to have an uh, have an opportunity to make it, and um, he did a great job of, of just kind of staying within himself, uh, not trying to to over kick it, and um, you know obviously that was a, that was a critical play um, going into half for us to for him to have the opportunity to tie it up. Yeah, and early, what, what did you see from the defensive ends going back and, and watching film? Um, you know, I, I thought uh, you know there were some some things in the run game. Obviously, we were a little bit tentative on. Um, would like to play a little bit faster, more aggressive at the point of attack. Um, you know, some of the strengths that that our defensive ends have that really didn't play into that kind of game. Um, there was really no drop back pass to speak of. Um, it became obviously a, a run dominated game, and uh, when that's the case, you know that that's the the role and responsibility we have to play, and uh, we have to be physical in the run game, and we have to be strong at the point of attack, and um, obviously that's that's something that we got to continue to improve upon as we move forward. But um, it will be the obviously the major point of emphasis uh, going into this week. Uh, Coach Fuller just praised uh, Sione for his play this past weekend, and he said he's probably going to get more opportunities. Do you agree with that? And what uh, what do you think of his play? Yeah, you know, I think I think the one thing that that uh, you know we knew going into it uh, that that Nusi was going to be a a physical run uh, defender. Um, you know, he does a good job of of you know being physical on pullers and uh, physical in the run game, and and he is very conscientious and assignment sound and uh, plays hard. Um, you know, and and when when those are your traits, um, those are some of the things that we're looking for. Really, um, he was on a a rotation going into this past game where he was going to rotate to start every other series, and that was how the game played out. Uh, there was just so limited amount of series. Um, for series starts, there was only seven in the game, so he didn't end up leaving the game with as many reps as I would like him to have gotten. But he certainly will get more going forward. Coach, what went into the decision to play uh, Malik Benson, not punt returner, or to start Malik Benson? What was the decision? Yeah, like uh, it was no Just I thought uh, you know coming out of camp, um, you know I thought both he and Jalen had good camps, but you know there was a there was a confidence that I did have in, in Malik. Um, and not to say that I didn't have one in Jalen, because because he was part of the plan as as potentially rotating him in at the returner. Uh, but you know, he just Malik had a really good last couple of weeks in terms of uh, his confidence in terms of fielding the balls, and it starts with that. It starts with ball security, making good decisions on balls, and uh, Malik had done a really really good job with that. And um, that was that was just kind of the decision we made going into it. Um, but I, I see both of them having opportunities to play roles uh, in our punt return game moving forward. Yeah. Coach, I feel like what was the best time to um, do that trick play on that extra point? And um, also um, thoughts about um, Edwin Joseph and that hit he made um, during that punt. Yeah, in terms of, of the swing gate to start the game, uh, that's something that we we uh, carry in every game. And there, there's really two factors uh, to that. Um, one is is uh, it obviously gives us an opportunity to steal a point early in the game and and uh, maybe dictate uh, the thought process of our of our opponent in terms of how they're going to chase the points if they have to. Um, but also. Um, it does give an element of something that someone has to work on every week. Um, it's simple for us in terms of execution, um, but it is something that that is unique. Um, you know, not many teams have that that mindset on some of the uh, two point conversions. So um, it is something that that we go in every week thinking that that that's a possibility, and the look presented itself. So uh, we went ahead and did it. In terms of. Um, Edwin, uh, that was that was a great job getting down on on the punt coverage unit. He's a guy that we think can be very impactful for us on our special teams units, and and his role needs to continue to increase. Um, but I thought that was a good start for him in terms of playing that role in the game the other day. Two things, real real quick. Who designed that play? 
Um, the the uh, there's a couple fold to that. Um, the the best uh, sometimes the best innovations are, are taking it from somebody else. So we did see uh, that play run by a, a different team, uh, and then uh, Coach Carter Barfield. Um, he he's in charge of kind of that that preseason uh, menu of of different uh, two point conversions that are are possibilities, and then ultimately just to, to kind of spread out how everyone gets you know credit for for things that happen. Um, coaches final call whether we run it or not. So um, you know it's something that that you know is is executed throughout the course of of camp. Uh, we'll we'll have to uh, change and uh, have different looks as we go. The more that we more often that you run them, the more looks that you got to be able to present because uh, now that one's on tape. So uh, we'll continue to be creative and innovative in that way. But um, I do feel like it's a good way to to steal points, especially early in the game. We all saw it in here. None of us reported it. We did a good job keeping the secret the secrets. Well, so keep running that. them. Keep running them in practice. Yeah, appreciate that. On this last thing, you know, Coach Norvell did mention that you know that there might have been some aspect of guys just being a little bit nervous, kind of first game jitters, like afraid to make a mistake and then ending up making a mistake. Does that almost like get compounded when you're having to set the edge and play the edge against a team like Georgia Tech? And do you feel like that can, is easily remedied? I guess. Yeah, you know, I think I think there's there's a um, a lot of factors that go into opening games and and. Uh, in college football, just from the standpoint of, of not having those preseason games and, and a lot of guys uh, going into their first real game action within a program, um, you have a, a good feeling in terms of, of what you have and and uh, who's going to be out there playing going into a game week. But uh, sometimes you don't really know until you get into the game. Um, and, uh, you know, there are some guys that I thought that did a great job, some guys that, that obviously have a lot of work to do. Um, but in terms of, of just the nerves and anxiety that goes along with it, um, you know, that's something that, that uh, that's just part of opening day football. Um, I'm sure it was the same on the other side sideline. Um, we got to do a good job of, of adapting and adjusting and, and we got to make that big jump. You know, the, the cliche in, in football is that you make the biggest jumps from week one to week two. And we got to make that jump uh, to get to where we want to be. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.